What is going on everybody? Jumbo Thick here, back with more Icket Claws campaign. We are ambushing us some Bretonians, because we have to push back the tide of Bretonia that has uh, taken advantage of my lack of armies. And are uh, pressing him to try to eradicate all the vermin. But, um, Sniven has managed to get a hold of uh, Menon Le Saracen. That's probably not right, but close enough. Um, her army of, uh, of knights, a lot of knights, but we get a lot of rat ogres. <laughs> now, they are anti-large, which mm, kind of sucks, but in combination of the Warp Lightning Cannon and the Gutter Runners and even these cheap spear units, I think we'll be able to, um, to run them down pretty handily. So let's go ahead and uh, let's fight this battle, especially since it's an ambush. Overrun them! All right, we'll go ahead and start deployment. 14 wins isn't, isn't bad. Skiven is on his doom wheel. So we got that going for us as well. We're gonna run over some of these uh, pitiful creatures. We also have our assassin. He looks pretty awesome. Uh, so we'll have him running in. The main threat is this paladin. We need to take out that paladin as quickly as possible. Um, the uh, prophetesses and uh, the damsels and all of them, they'll fall easily. Easily enough as soon as we get uh, some firepower on them. So we got rat ogres coming in from over here and I'm going to have spearmen sandwiching them in from this direction then uh, it's about even footing so it's not gonna matter we've got uh, plague monks running from this direction because they they're not gonna be able to pull through this way this is where the uh, cannons are going to be set up So I'm gonna have a warp lightning cannon set up here, just raining death into these uh, to these knights because they're gonna be sandwiched in and not be able to escape. Likewise, I'll put my uh, plague priest over here, and just for extra measure, let's set up our uh, <laughs> our jezails and uh, we'll put in these. Um, gutter runners to kind of keep the to even keep them from pressing around and pushing into my jazz isles too quickly we do have a unit of warpire thrower you'll go right there and just rain death upon um, any of the infantry as they try to turn we'll just butcher them wholesale and uh yeah i'm gonna have to pause as soon as we start unfortunately because i've got a lot to manage uh, let's see if you can catch them. Do it like that. We're going to run in you guys. Just start running in as best you can. Run you, one of you guys there. 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 And there. Plus we'll have our assassin go this way, and we'll have Sniven get in on this as well. We might be giving some people some uh, some black hunger here. Yeah, as soon as they engage in combat, turn them into the turn these um, clan rats into like warriors. Oh, we should probably give our guys some targets, huh? This is progressing quickly. We can launch a plague, but there's probably no need to right now. Let's give these guys um, wait. That's wither. Plus with filth. You know what? 
Let's just turn my plague monks into just beasts. How about that? Or melting them quicker than I can uh, do anything. And plus, yeah, between that and the warp lightning cannons, just butchering them. <laughs> well, I didn't even have time to use my uh, menace below. Okay, well, start running them this way. This turned into a route <laughs> really quickly. Wow. Uh, man. We massacred them. We barely, we didn't even lose any rat ogres in that fight. Alright, Sniven. We got some food out of that. That's good. Uh, just fully heal the army, just in case. Oh, yeah, we just, because they were marching, we also destroyed them. <laughs> oh, no yes. Uh, I want to get him scorched because I kind of want to get Crack's call. Or do we start getting into this? We could, yeah, let's decrease the amount of all our Jezails and our units. This rat is no fool. We're getting close to getting uh, assassins with Snivens. Warlock, master of We're attempt to intercept um, Albrecht here. We'll see what he does. Still sieging uh, Margarita, but he's not going to be able to do anything about that. <laughs> and we have Ikit. Ikit is going to take the spam that is uh, Lewin Lankar <laughs> head on. Uh, if that's not spam, I don't know what is. So, yeah. Which building this? Council 13, so I need to put in the Shattered Tower. But that's going to be a lot of money. A whole lot of money. Well, let me spread my Under Empire quickly, though. And then, we also have uh, Charge Lock here. He's going to have to fend off some Wood Elves that have decided to invade. So, yes. <laughs> We're still working with all of this. Um... Let's get our, our Plague Monks well, or we can start really bumping into like an, the extra range for the Jezails, Warp Fire Throwers and all that would be really good, plus the missile damage. We have a lot of them, we might as well invest in them. And then let's check out what the Forbidden Workshop's got to offer us. Uh, not a whole lot. Rolling Doom! <laughs> Yeah, we've pretty much maxed those out, except for these. Why not? We're we using them. Kill <laughs> um, yeah. What? Oh, yeah. Okay, I need to stop, because we're running out of uh, warp fuel. We'll work some back up. Alright, and we're just barely in the positives here. <laughs> so, uh, that's about all I can do on this turn. We will push these Bretonians out of here. Okay, I have faith. I forgot about my little engineer up there. Like on the verge of nuking the King's Glade. Close. What is Bretonia going to do when I push them out of here? You're probably going to want peace. I'm not going to take it. <laughs> I'm going to push further in Bretonia and um, ravage their lands. Oh, man. Oh, he's going to take Babali. Maybe not. I, he does. I don't even know if he has any towers. Let's quick save just in case. We'll see how this goes. We might actually use a damn rocket 
and blow up as many of them as we can. Okay, well... This is a stupid move on their part. He only has two towers. Now, one of them are foot squires. And then the one unit of minute arm pole arms. That's it. That's all he's got. Oh, this is gonna be this is gonna be easy street. So the towers aren't even coming over here, so I can just leave these cheap ass slingers here, and they'll rain death upon them. I'm gonna target them with the plague claw catapult right from the start and just hammer them. Um, does he have any flying units? Luins on foot. Yeah, they don't have any Pegasuses. This is oof. They're gonna regret that. They're gonna have try to take this gate. So we'll leave our uh, rat ogres here with um, two units of spearmen. So essentially what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave a rat ogre right here. I'm going to put a spearman unit here. A spearman unit here. I'm going to put another spear unit. Oh shit, we'll put it over here. Why not? It's not going to matter. Um, as far as the night runners, kind of just put them up here just to get these towers moving. Pretty much that's all that they're going to be there for is to hold the towers. So we got clan rats there and there. Leave you there because we're going to bring down the uh, the lightning. On top of that, we're going to hammer them with uh, gutter runners from up top <laughs> the entire time. Um, I'm hoping they'll clump around one of these gates. Uh, just to be safe, put a uh, spearman unit there just to be safe. So leave you guys there and then you like this, kind of like this. So they're going to have to run into one of them. And then, uh, our rat ogre can come in and help pound away. So yeah, it uh, looks pretty good. I guess the main problem is going to be the foot squires. Because these guys aren't going to be able to do anything. Nothing. We're going to annihilate these... Uh, this ram before it even gets to the uh, to the walls. Plus, we've got we have towers shooting them constantly. Yeah, the, the tower is gonna make it, so that's fine. As long as that doesn't make it to the wall, we're good. Alright, it's going to be a long, slow trek. to the wall, that's fine. We knew they would. Now they've got to fight through all of these rats. Death upon them. Oh no. Get to that lamp. Have them shoot at something else now, something further back. This 
start pounding away. <laughs> like so. There go the foot squires. barely made it. Except it's not gonna matter. Wait for him to, to catch up. Oh well, I'm not, I might not even have to. Yeah, they're about to break. How's that gate? 40, 50? Okay, just in case. Should break them. Yeah. They're gone. <laughs> so what are they so they're just gonna sit here, basically. They're not going to attempt to get through this wall. out there she slowly but surely she is chipping through that gate yeah gate's still holding let's run them out just to make sure We just need to keep these uh, to keep these wall manned, and we will grind them out slowly but surely. They're almost out of there. Shooting from Grail Guardians, they're not even moving. <laughs> oh, this is gonna be a long fight if this is the way it's gonna go. So, this is what I was worried about. Let's speed this up. Uh, our engineer can come over this way now. And our extra unit of warriors, just in case. A rat ogre should break them. This is stupid. That they just they, they lose track sometimes. It's infuriating. Really? Path you myself then. We're getting stuck on one guy instead of hammering the rest of them. They're broken. We're on the rat ogre's back. Watch, watch. Good God. Very good, master. <laughs> I 
they do better just trying to bust through the walls instead of just getting slowly chipped away. Let's see what we can do. I'm kind of hoping we'll get these guys butchered. And then I can blow them up. <laughs> and do massive amounts of damage. That's the plan at least. I hate it when it does that. We'll try it again. there for some reason. Oh well. They were following that damsel. <laughs> That's what it was. It's not going to matter. We're, we're doing so much damage at this point. Uh, all the, Everything that has been done. Try to hammer through that gate. That's fine. Okay, these guys are useless now. They drop their equipment and just kind of stand over here. Gates open. But they're not going to be able to pull through all the spearmen. Hoping they'll all clump together. Yeah, they're going to have just a ridiculously hard time trying to pull through these guys. Plus, I'm going to be doing this the whole time. <laughs> just going to start hammering them. And then when those spear units look like they're going to be uh, starting to go, we'll pull in another one. Actually, you gutter runners over here. Right, they've all shot the gap at this point. I could. We 
can pull these guys from over here now. It's not gonna matter. It looks like they're wavering. Yep. That's all it took. <laughs> a little patience. And Lewin's mighty army of spam was defeated. Didn't even have to use my doom rocket. I thought about it for a second. But didn't even have to. The lowly clan rats took care of this. Heroic victory, <laughs> Jesus. Skaven having a heroic victory. I guess get more food because you know, they don't need to recoup. It's a garrison. He's running. They're running. <laughs> oh, they're gonna regret what they've done. Oh, okay. You wanna, okay, you're gonna regret that as well. Yeah, they think just because Bretonia is pressing in that they can use it to their advantage. It's not going to work. Not going to work. And I'll remember you, Averland. Don't you worry. Don't you worry. I'm sending someone for you. Sweet. Extra missile damage. A lot of people raiding still. That's fine. The claw is going to finish off Lewin. It's not even worth fighting now, which is sad because it is Lewin's army. And what? Okay, that doesn't do anything for me because uh, Skaven don't have any cavalry. <laughs> so that sucks. Do you get a charge bonus though? I think it's going to start moving this way. Uh, let's get that Howling Warp Gill and get these out. Get the Crack's Call. No our detected. Assassin. It gets Assassin. It is our top-notch kind of guy. Um, let's get him... Let's get him hitting even harder. Eventually we're gonna have him just be a monster in combat. Uh, Albrecht is going to rue the day. He, uh, yep, he's gonna regret this thoroughly. He's even worse off than the other unit that we came across. Though he's got he's got two paladins with him, and himself is pretty damn dangerous against uh, Sniven. So we'll have to take some precautions. But let's go ahead and fight this one as well. <laughs> defeat Albrick. Alright, start deployment. We're going to be using a similar tactic as last time, except... Ooh, shit. We're in the woods. That ain't good. And Albrick's flying, which actually might not be good for him. So here's what we're going to do. We're actually going to post up right here. We post, we'll be shooting through some trees, which is fine. Some of our damage will be uh, negated, but... Or do we post up back here? Because uh, they're just going to retreat into the tree line. Damn it, this is a bad ambush spot for us. Oh. Yeah, we're not going to be able to pick them off in the tree line like I want to. We're going to have to lure them out. Okay. Man, how do we want to do this? Just because of the damn terrain. <laughs> it's because of the terrain we're in. I really want to pop Albrick as soon as possible. Let's do this. Albrecht's well within range from here, even. We're going to have to play this very defensive. We're going to have to just mow down um, infantry as they come running, or uh, 
the knights as they come running in. fire throw over here and them not notice it then have it run out and then ambush the uh, the, the bowman there's gonna be a lot of shifting in this army I kind of want to draw them to me so we'll leave one unit of rat ogres right there yeah you guys on this flank as well. You can pull them towards rat ogres. Um, who else am I missing? Oh. My go-to. My assassin is going to just be sticking next to Sniven. Hopefully we'll be able to pick off some unlucky people. Uh, hope this works. Immediately start shooting Albrecht. I'm going to have to contend with their... The open field of their knights, which sucks. And then, as soon as they come into range with the Jezails, we'll open up on them. Come on, one of those has got to hit. Nothing, whiffing. He's taking cover in the trees, which is smart. Moving a lot of their knights over here. Well, they're moving two sets of them. It's fine. We could probably defend against that. Move an extra rat over over here. Shifted most of them over there, it looks like. Retreat him. They're trying to hide in the woods. They're trying to do the same thing, though. Smarter than he looks. Come on. I can actually move these plague monks up because they are not defending them with their cavalry. They went wide with their cavalry. Uh, let's bring you over this way. Get on that sniven. I'll bring you guys back this way. Should have some more um, knights come out of the, at the last second. They're going to pop out of there, I'm sure. Let's see if we can trap all these guys in here. Strong Sniven, make them strong. Get 
Do them. We'll take them. Uh, let's... Plus with filth on top of that. Then we're gonna have you come into the back there. There we go. Now, ready now. 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 Fire. Like real real. Get on them. Get a hold of Albrecht while he's in there. Oh yeah, we should be able to trade pretty easily with them. We are just <laughs> melting peasants. With the warp fire thrower. Come back, come back. Yeah, good, good. Broken pretty much all of their cavalry. They're not going to be able to stand up to us. The rest of this is in the bag. Yeah, they're losing face now. They will start breaking. And the good thing about the Plague Monks is they hold. They hold much better than most of the uh, Skaven infantry line because they're crazy. <laughs> they're crazy fanatics. Uh, I should probably should have brought in some more, uh, uh, some more magic, some more death frenzy. Maybe even a little warp lightning would have been alright, but... You can only do so much. I be gone. We'll get some more food. We always need more food. Plus 15 when fighting in the city. That's a pretty good one. Master Engineer. Sniffing hit level 20, which means I can get him immortality. Thank God. Just in case. <laughs> Power and weapon. another ambush. We're not going to fight it this time. More food. There goes Albrecht. He's gone. Yeah, we are uh, doing pretty damn good now. Uh, we can start supporting Pickett. Um, and then at the same time, our new warlord, Chargelock here, has <laughs> got some uh, some elves to teach a lesson to. Um, we're going to fight this? No, we're not. That's overkill. Yeah. Uh, just to be at full health, we'll eat them. And we're, I think we're actually going to fight dirt through ourselves. Knows who his boss is. We want to be ambushing like nobody's business. That is no fool. And then we'll give you um, plague rash. Victory! You'll be too really? Defeated. It shows me not winning this fight. Is it just Make because it's dirty? I mean, he is a beast, no doubt. Well, there's two tree men. But we have rattling guns. Uh, I don't know why they're getting this. Maybe, I mean, they have one unit of Wave Watchers. That's nothing. We've got six uses of minutes below, so... Uh, we're going to fight this. I got a feeling these guys are going to get butchered much more likely than uh, what it says. Win battle! All right. We've 
got a whole bunch of our uh, skirmishers, which aren't going to be able to outskirmish their one unit of <laughs> of uh, of um, way watchers, I believe. But we will be able to run them ahead, scout, and then pick them off as they're coming towards us. Because they shouldn't be able to catch us. Now, even the Wild Riders, what are their speed at? Speed's at 85. We're at 60. But we, when you deal with poison, it lowers your speed by 24%. And we got the snare nets. Which even um, slows the target, slows the, uh, the person they're attacking even more. So, And we'll draw them in to the open arms of our rattling gunners. We'll move them back and then into, uh, into range. Yeah, that's a good plan. We'll put in some... We'll just kind of do it like this. It's just with that rock in the way. The rattling guns are key to our success here. Put our warlord there and our assassin. Two back this way. Put some storm vermin on the outskirts here. And then of course, we'll have our rat ogres up here as well. Now our death runners, which are super sneaky sneaky. Uh, so put them pretty good. They're not they're better against units that have armor. We'll put them right here and then try to draw these guys away from them. Yeah, that sounds like a good plan. Let's go ahead and get you guys in one group. You guys are one group, you are in one group, and you are in a group. get them up here on this cliff then if they're gonna be pulling back to kind of regroup we'll move our uh, our death runners that way okay we need to retreat already Those damn way watchers man them up. I want to catch the way watchers as much as possible. Damn it. Okay, this isn't working. We're going to have to actually push up, unfortunately. There should be enough. A little bit further, I guess. I think both of you just unload on them and melt them, and as soon as they're gone, they're going to have to start running at us. Yep. There we go. And I'm going to run my Death Runners in here and actually capitalize on those Wildwood Rangers. I 
All right, they are gone. Try to get on those tree can. So you're gonna have to run over there and take care of them. Come towards them. Let you guys fight that thing. Oh, you get on this eagle, actually. Where are they? I need you on the eagle, man. Scurry around that way. Dryads caught them. Yeah, that's not going so good over there. They need some reinforcement. Like so. We kill Durthu, we will have dealt a significant blow. Just melt the dirt too. Now melt the ancient tree man. Moving them. God bless. They, they did a number. Those dryads tore through my death runners. Jeez. Man, I might lose this unit here. Okay, the rest of them are retreating. They're dead. Oh man. Maybe the uh maybe it was right. <laughs> that was a uh a hell of a uh, a fight actually, more than I thought it would be. But like I thought, the rattling gunners, despite them being anti infantry, are insanely good. We're definitely going to eat them, because we need to recoup the losses we just got. Well... Yeah. Oh, nice. Flaming attacks? Stink of command! No! Can we afford to? <laughs> I want to chase them. I want to pursue. I have to keep my uh, my death runners out of the fight. Oh, I could get another unit here. Oh. Nanny Bubos would be pretty damn good for this army. Let's save it just in case that kills my death runners. Damn it. Yeah, I killed one. Man, do I want to just re-recruit it? I might as well just re-recruit it. It's it's not gonna be worth me reloading. Go all the way back and reload just for that. Knows who his boss is. Oh. Wow, we did some serious damage with that. Um, reduces recruitment cost. Why not? You need to get that lightning strike. You know, that's that's the goal. Is the lightning strike and then making things cheap <laughs> for all these armies. Stink of command. All right, so that's it. No detected. Oh. 
Oh, Sniven. Sniven uh, got more. Uh, we got one point. We could get the Brass Orb. Leveled up to more. Why not? He's gonna have a Brass Orb now. Knows who his boss is. We got Plague. We can get Pestle and Birth, which is awesome. Need to get a Plague Furnace on for him. Master That's gonna, this is gonna be one hell of an army. Once we're all kitted out. Master Engineer. Uh, of course, we have physically here. Yes, good defense. How's it looking at King's Glade? Eight turns before we blow them to pieces. I am greatest warlord. Yes, yes. I don't, I don't want to. I want to drop too much in it. Sartos is still doing good. So we finally got this completed. We got the extra money. Oh yes, plus the public order. Good, awesome. That gives you so many benefits. Cancel all 13. Uh, so we just need to get a bunch of money to get the Corrupted Tower now. And once we have the Corrupted Tower, Escape of Light is done. We will have completed it. Oh wait, have we? No, we haven't yet. I also need to get a uh, laboratory for Clan Mulder to get, so we can get our Hell Pit Abominations. And the uh, Warp Turbine Plant for uh, the Doom Wheels, so we can actually recruit Doom Wheels. It's going to end the turn though, that's about all we can do. We successfully beat down Bertonia and also pushed back a Wood Elf incursion in one turn. <laughs> so that went pretty, well, two turns. It still went really well. Much better than I thought it was going to. We didn't lose any settlements. And uh, beat down Durthu. Gosh, just mowing him down with those rattling guns. Plus, now that now that army has uh, Natty Bubos in it, which are hidden, excellent unit. And they'll be a good sniping unit to, uh, to support him. And now, we are going to start ravaging Bretonia. And then maybe even push into the... Uh, Good, good. Oh, oh what do you guys want? Subjects. You want peace? Oh, no. They're not gonna, if they're not going to give us money, I'm not taking it. We just went way up in rank after how much we just just, just crapped all over <laughs> those invading armies. Coast Buccaneers. I wanted to send that that army down south, but it looks like I'm going to need it to cover my uh, my Walk eastern flank. Brave uh -oh. news, my lord. Word is spreading oh, no. across the land of a dark power rising in the northern west. Damn it! The armies They're of coming. chaos are on the move. They surely plan to invade the world of mortals once again. Prepare your defenses well, for the forces of chaos spare no one in their quest for bloodshed. Oh, how I know. They're all being populated with the rise of chaos. Engineer, here! To under empire! We can attack Castle Carcassonne right now. I don't think they have walls. Where's my my doom rocket? War power. Make things dead. <laughs> they do have walls. Damn it. Oh, that sucks. Cause the fan transverse has got some damn Pegasus knights. Oh. You know what? We'll see. If they if they sally forth, we'll we'll mow them down. We'll destroy them. But if they stay behind the gates, it's going to be a rough fight. Cause just because they have so many damn knights. Uh, once we get in there, packed in there, it's going to be hard for uh, Ickit's army to push through. We might have to let Sniv and take this one over. But I at least want to siege them in there so they don't get a chance to uh, to recruit or push out. 
fight care. Charge lock, however. We stalk. Yes, yes. Let's get you in here and let's get you one unit of death right there, just because you had them before. And while we're at it, it might not hurt to give him some door thing menace. <laughs> it might not. Uh, although he looks like he might be fighting a lot of L, so maybe the uh, Warfire Thrower? How much are these worth? 344? So yeah, we'll just be barely pushing it if we uh, throw in the Warfire Thrower team. The Doombringers. So I want to say, do they have stealth? No. Uh, they have Defender, so they can, they can take a hit. I have so many weapons teams if that's the case. Uh, we already have um, flaming attacks against them. Three thirty six. What is this one? Three six. Maybe we just get another the eye takers here. <laughs> so uh, we get to the we have Natty Bubos on one side and we'll have the eye takers on the other. Why not? Why not? That is going to be Charge Lock's army for now. He's locked in for two turns, and that's about all the time I've got for this episode, guys. So we will be, of course, um, Finishing this out, guys. I don't know how it's going to work out in the end, but it's going to work out one way or the other. <laughs> so, um, I'm looking more positive now since we repelled the Bretonians and are currently invading their land. So we have a good opportunity here to make some money, conquer some more land, of course, and then I want to get rid of these damn wood elves. God, they piss me off so much. I hate them. I hate them. I can't afford to really pile in anything yet as far as uh, uh, underway things because they cost money. So that's why I haven't started uh, putting anything in. Not a monetary cost, but a maintenance cost. You'll notice this costs 200 in maintenance. This one costs uh, oh, actually nothing. Oh, that's not bad. But 200 maintenance for this, and then I think that's it. So I, I really couldn't afford it when I uh, have to recruit this this final unit to charge the locks on. As a matter of fact, I'm going to be a little behind, so I'm going to have to make up a little capital. Probably when I take Castle Carcassonne here. Yeah, that should help. So, But I have rambled on enough, guys. As usual, I have been Jumbo Thick. Thank you for watching. I look forward to seeing you guys in the next episode. Have a good day.